Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123 back with another Fire TV and Voice View tutorial. Now that we've got Voice View talking to us, it's time to make it sound the way we want. So let's take a look at Voice View settings. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my TV with the power button, which on my remote is the top left button. Perfect, TV is on, and you need to be on the home screen. So on my remote, home is directly below the down arrow on the arrow pad. Now, on another Fire TV remote that I've seen, and actually an older Fire Edition TV that I had, home was located above the up arrow. So you'll need to figure out where that is on your remote. But if you go ahead and push the home button, and you'll be right where we need to be. Now we need to use the right arrow to move over to settings. Fine. Live. Xfinity stream. Tweeted. Apple. Find video. Netflix. Hulu. Oh. More apps prep. Settings. 13 of 13. And for me, settings is item 13 of 13. Now, it could be shorter list for you if you don't have any apps installed yet, but I do on this TV, so took a bit more right arrow presses to get there. But I'm now going to press OK, or select in the middle. Inputs, row one, column one. And the first thing I have is inputs. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. Okay. Now, you likely will not have the inputs item if you are using a fire stick. Now I know for me accessibility is row three, column four, I believe. Network, row one, column four. Accessibility, row three, column four. Okay, so I was able to jump quickly down to accessibility by arrowing to the right to get to column four, and then the down arrow twice to go to row three. And here we are on accessibility. I'll press select. Closed caption, one of seven. And we're gonna Close go down with the down arrow. Alexa caption, voice view, three of seven. To voice view and press Next. select. Voice view screen reader, voice view on, one of eight. So you can turn voice Close view on and off items. right here, but I recommend. feedback as you navigate items on the screen. So it gives you a description that provides spoken feedback when navigating items on the screen. Now, you can turn it off here, but as we discussed in the previous video, I recommend using the back and menu hotkey. Pressing and holding those keys will quickly turn voice view on and off. Okay, let's press the down arrow and see what else is here. Reading speed, 1x, normal, 2 of 8. We have our normal... Or we have Just our. how quickly voice view speaks. We have our reading speed control. Let's go in here. Voice view screen reader. 0.66x. Slowest. Not checked. And we can One make it two. really slow. Or. 2.3.4x. We can make it the 4x. I'm going to select 1.25x speed this up slightly. Voice view screen reader, reading speed 1.25x, 2 of 8. Hopefully that is still a comfortable rate for all of you. Adjust how quickly voice view speaks. So it says adjust how voice view speaks. Verbosity, 3 of 8. And in here we have some verbosity settings. While navigating. I'm sorry, I keep talking over these usage hints. Verbosity, three of eight. Adjust the amount of information provided while navigating. So I think I'm going to go we back up to reading speed and put it back to one. 1 x Just want to make sure it's clear for all of you. Speed, one x, normal, two of okay. Eight. Verbosity, three of eight. Adjust the amount of information provided while navigating. And so this is the amount of information you hear while navigating. Let's go in here and take a quick look. 
voice view screen reader, speak window and container context on one of eight. Use up and down to move between items. The context of current area. For example, the title of the current window is verbosity. So that's speaking window titles. I just leave that on. Speak role on two of eight. Speak role. Item types such as button or check box. And again, I recommend leaving that on, but we can press select off to turn that on or off. On. Speak index on three of eight. We have speak index. The location and count of items in current group such as item one of three. So that's a good description there. You're noticing it's saying how many items are in a list. So you could turn that off with this setting. Speak usage hints on speak, four of eight. Speak usage hints. Tips for interacting with current area of the UI, such as double tap to activate. Oh, that's very interesting, actually. It has some hints that are meant more for Fire tablets. Interesting. But you heard them as well here when it was saying things like use up and down to move between items. So once you get comfortable using voice view, you can turn these off. Speak screen description off. If you want five to. Of eight. Describes screen layout and usage. When off, only speaks first time. So I guess that's more hints for like how to use different screens. Speak described by on six of eight. Information related to the currently focused item. So that's some more information about items. Speak state before long titles. Experimental off seven of eight. And an experimental feature. The state of items such as checked, selected, disabled will be spoken before the item label. Reset to default. And you can reset eight these eight. to default. So Voice let's go back reader, the back key. Three of eight. Speech volume. Forty percent of device volume. You can change your eight. speech volume. Voice view screen reader. So let's match go in here with select. Volume, not checked. You can match nine. device volume. Ninety percent of device volume. Ninety percent. Eighty percent of device volume. So from ninety not to thirty percent. Twenty percent. Twenty percent of device volume. volume. Not checked. Nine of nine. So let's go back with the back button. Speech volume, 40% of device volume, 4 of 8. Sounds volume, 40% of device And similar volume, for sounds volume. Key echo, characters and words. And you can change your key echo. So when you're typing in. Just what is announced when entering text. You can hear what's what you've entered. Voice so let's go in here with select. None, not checked. One of four. You have none. Characters. Not characters, checked. which I Two believe is default. Words, not checked. Words, characters, and characters words. And words. Okay, let's Four. go back. Voice view screen reader, key echo, punctuation level, sum. And then eight. you have your punctuation levels. Voice view screen reader, none, not checked. One of four. And you can choose between none. Sum. Sum. Most, not checked. Most. Three of all, not checked. And all. Four of four. I'm going to leave it one, on the default sum, of checked. sum. Voice view screen, voice view tutorial, eight of eight. And then there is a tutorial. Use up and down to move between items. Learn how to use the voice view screen reader. Now, I believe in the review of a Fire Edition TV back in August of 2020, I believe I did cover the voice view tutorial. So if you want to see that, I would encourage you to take a look at that video. Okay, so that's everything here in voice view settings. So that's what I wanted to cover there for now. However, there is one more thing I wanted to cover. And that is, what if you decide that the volume or the speed doesn't work for you anymore? You could go into voice view settings and change it. However, there is an even easier way. And that easier way is similar to using like the rotor on iOS. And how we do it is we press and hold the play button while pressing left, right, up, and down. So let's try this. I'm gonna try and do this so you can see it. See me pressing the buttons. Speed rate. So I pressed play pause. Press up and down to adjust speed rate. 
press left and right to cycle through speech settings, or press select to explore buttons on the remote. I pressed and held play pause and pressed right arrow and it said speech rate. So I'm going to use up and down. 1.25x, 1.5x, 1.75, 2x, 2.5x, 3x, 4x, 5x, 3x, 2.5, 2x, 1.75x, 1.5x, 1.21x, 0.8x, 0.66x, slowest, 0.1x, normal. And I'll leave it on 1x. So I was using my up and down arrow and down to, adjust speech to adjust the speech rate. Press left and now if I press the right speech arrow, speech volume, 50. 60, 70, we can do the same thing 60, with the volume. 50, 40. So I'm going to set that back to 40. And I'll turn this off for now. Screen off. Okay, so that is a look at customizing voice view to make it sound the way you want it to sound. And to make using voice view a pleasant experience on your Fire TV device. So hope you found this helpful. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe for more and feel free to comment. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching, and we will see you soon.